Every day, thousands of people share documents containing sensitive information from employment contracts and financial reports to medical records and legal documents. But what most people don't realize is that this could be a serious mistake. Insurance companies, consultants, specialists, financial advisors, and even recruiters handle sensitive information from hundreds of people every day. And yes, one of them could easily be you. All it takes is one small error from any of them for your personal information to end up in the wrong hands. But that changes today. Welcome back to PDF Elements official YouTube channel. My name's Chris, and in today's video, we're going to go over everything you need to know about the redaction tool. We'll discuss what it is, why it's essential to protect or eliminate sensitive content and what types of information you should be hiding in your documents. So if you already know what this is all about, feel free to jump right to the demonstration using the timestamps on screen. When we talk about redact, we're referring to the process of hiding or removing sensitive information from a document using a specialized method for sharing or publishing it. Why redact or remove sensitive content? Why go through the trouble of using a specialized method to protect or remove information? Well, unlike using markup tools to cover text where a simple contrast adjustment can reveal what's hidden or deleting text which can be recovered with specialized software, redacting a PDF is an irreversible protection process that ensures confidential data cannot be seen or retrieved in any way. And while it might sound like a bit much, Trust me, there are situations where you really don't want to take any risks with security. What information should you black out in a document? For example, when sharing personal identifiable information, like names, addresses, phone numbers, or social security numbers, these might seem like small details to you, but they can easily be used to steal your identity. There's also attorney-client privilege in legal documents. Protecting any confidential communications between attorneys and their clients is crucial as well as sensitive case-related information. Then there are trade secrets like formulas, patents, or R&D data, which are crucial for a company's competitive edge. We can't overlook financial data either. It's essential to keep things like bank account numbers, credit card information, and financial statements secure, because if they're not protected, that information could be used for fraud. Lastly, if you deal with medical documents, you probably already know how important it is to comply with HIPAA regulations, making sure sensitive patient info like diagnosis or medical histories is protected. Redact is the perfect solution, and I know using a specialized method to protect sensitive information might sound complicated or even a little intimidating, but trust me, it's way easier than it seems. Among the tools in the Protect tab of PDF Element, you'll find Mark for Redaction. This feature is our go-to solution for most situations that require data redaction, as it dynamically adjusts based on what you want to black out. For example, when you hover over text, the pointer turns into a text selection tool. But if you move it elsewhere in the document, it becomes a tool for selecting areas. And every time you make a selection, a subtle outline will show up around the text or area so you can clearly see what you've chosen to black out, and gives you a final chance to review everything before applying the changes. So if you accidentally select something you didn't mean to, no worries. You can always remove it by clicking on the selection tool and pressing the delete key. Once you've selected all the information you need to black out, just hit the button in the blue banner and confirm that you want to apply the redaction. And boom, the text and areas you selected are now hidden. All those black shapes all over your document may make you feel like they're compromising its readability due to the missing parts. However, if you select them, you'll notice that in the properties panel on the right side of the window, you can make a few adjustments to compensate for the information you've just removed. For example, imagine that for some reason I don't want anyone to see this date, so I use the mark for redaction tool to black it out. The problem here is that even though the context clearly indicates that a date is missing here, some people might still find it hard to read. So I could create a color code and assign labels to solve this problem. Instead of just redacting the date with the default settings, I'll use the orange color and check the overlay text option to add a descriptive label like date or the corresponding redaction code when the document has legal implications. Once I've finished labeling, my document looks like this. Pretty easy to read, don't you think? However, this colorful trick is only suitable for specific situations. Even though you can use an infinite combination of colors for redaction, black is usually the most popular choice, as other colors might come off as less formal, especially in legal or official documents. So if you want to keep it clean and professional, black is still your best bet. 
The Mark IV Redaction tool is super useful and easy to use, especially when you just need to hide a couple of details like in a medical record or an official ID document. But if you need to redact a longer document like a legal contract where the same info repeats over and over, don't worry, you won't have to sift through the whole document to redact each instance manually. For those cases we can use search and redact. With search and redact you can search for words, names or numbers throughout the document and get a list of all the matches. This lets you easily jump to each one and decide what you want to hide, without having to scroll through the whole document. For example, let's say I want to black out the names of the people involved in this contract. All I need to do is use search and redact to type in the name of one party, check the whole words only option to ensure that the results match only the name I'm looking for, and hit the search button. Then I'll click through the matches just to see where they are in the document, and once I'm sure everything is good, I'll check the boxes for both matches. After that I'll move on to the other party's name and repeat the process. And finally click apply all marks. Just like that without reading the entire document I've blacked out all the names. But there's one important reminder I want to share with you. Whenever you're trying to hide your personal information in your documents, please don't forget to erase the metadata. Metadata is the hidden info that is generated and stored automatically when you create or edit a file. It can include details like author, creation date, software used and even internal comments or previous versions. While you might not see this information, it could be revealing more than you'd like, especially if you're sharing documents with clients or collaborators. Fortunately, removing metadata with PDF element is quite simple. Take a look at this. Here's the document info I can see through the description tab in the properties window. If you take a quick look over here, you'll notice that anyone can see the author's name the date the document was created, when it was last modified, and even the software that was used. Now assuming I don't want my clients or collaborators to see that info, all I'd have to do is use the Remove Hidden Data tool from the Protect tab. Just like the redaction tools, Remove Hidden Data is irreversible, so be careful with what you choose to delete. In my case I'll remove almost everything, but I want to keep the bookmarks, so I'll just uncheck that one box and hit Confirm. Now to make sure it worked, I'll go back to the document properties. And there you go, all that information is gone for good. Working with documents that contain sensitive information is something we can't avoid. Whether it's for work or personal reasons, at some point we're all going to have to share this type of data, so why not stay at one step ahead? In the description of this video you'll find a link to the official PDF Element website where you can download PDF Element and start exploring the redact and remove hidden data tools today ensuring that sharing your document is always safe. Thanks for staying with me until the end of this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. I'll keep bringing you more tips and tricks to make your work easier. In the meantime, feel free to check out our other videos where you'll find plenty of other helpful tips and tricks to help you manage and edit PDFs like a pro. See you in the next one.